Good morning! Wait, are we live? I'm still so bad at this. Good morning, everybody. I'm here. Oh, it says you're live. Okay, good. So now it's real. <laughs> Say hi, John D. Hi, John D. Say hi, Jenna Hip. Hi. Who else is here? Oh, hi, Lauren Henderson. Oh, and that's hi. Piper in the back getting ready for an event today. And I just wanted to say hi to everyone. Yesterday was such an exciting day. Um, we announced the first performance dates um, for shows that are coming up this month. And my album is coming out soon. So I just wanted to do a Facebook Live to say hi to everyone. Um, and you guys are saying hi to me. Please say hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, I just wanted to talk because so many people were asking, oh, by the way, John is going to keep doing my hair while we're doing this. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to answer some questions because I know that we just released the show dates and so I wanted you guys to know that these are just the first tour dates. Um, obviously I wanted to start out in LA and New York because those are my hometowns, but we will hopefully be going to many other places. Um, and so let's see, this question says the album is totally done already. Yes, the album is completely done. There are um, 11 songs on the album. I had the best time recording it. It took me two and a half years to record this album. And it's very special to me. And I really wanted to make an album that's just kind of inspired by a lot of the people that I grew up listening to, like Barbara Streisand and Celine Dion. Um, there are some really beautiful songs on it that mean so much to me. And these first couple of shows were just opportunities to get to see you guys and perform for you. But we will definitely be going more places once the album comes out. So don't worry. Um, let's see. Oh, it says, could you come to Brazil? I'm desperate to come to Brazil, but I want to go everywhere. I have to come. I have to go to Brazil. I really want to come to the UK. I haven't traveled in such a long time, so it would be so great to come and see all of you. Let's see. Oh, Italy. Yes, of course. Okay, so this one says, describe your album in three words. I would say it's definitely strong, um, emotional, but it's also kind of like... I don't know, I don't want to be cheesy and say that it's like inspiring, but it is like there are those songs on it that I just, I still listen to and like they just make me really happy. Even if it is kind of a little bit of like a sad love song, there's something positive about it. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, it, the, Nancy says that my hair looks amazing and Appreciate she can't wait. <gasps> Where are you? <laughs> John, <Back> oh, wait. <laughs> thank you so much. I have new bangs, which I'm very excited about. Oh, it says, which um, Glee songs am I going to sing in my concert? So we're doing, at the, in these three shows, um, we're doing a ton of songs from the new record. I would say mostly it's all from the new record, but I am going to do um, two songs from Louder, probably Cannonball and Battlefield. And then it was really important for me to um, do some songs from Glee. And let's see, I do I want to give away what I'm singing? I, I'm definitely going to do... Um, they're, I think that they're mostly like unexpected songs. I'm singing one song that I sang. Um, I'm singing another song that someone else sang that I always wanted to get to sing. So I'm doing that. Um, but and I just I really wanted to sing these Glee songs. I'm definitely gonna do um, "Make You Feel My Love," which is so special to me and it's always been one of my favorite songs. So let's come and I'll sing that and we'll try to get through without crying. Uh, let's see what else. Are, am I going to come to England and Scotland? Oh, this one says Jonathan Groff helped you with the lyrics of the new songs. He actually helped me. Jonathan is my best friend for all of you who may or may not know. And he helped me with my album title. So I had been struggling with what I wanted to call this album. And you know, with for whatever reason with the last record, when it was time to pick, I knew it was going to be louder. But for this one, I think it's just because it's so special to me, um, it was important that the title was perfect. And so I had this name that I wanted to call it. And I called Jonathan and I asked him a question. And I was like, I can't say what it is because I don't want to give it away. But anyways, his response was the title that I'd already decided on. So we kind of came up with it together. And, um, okay, you said yesterday that Jonathan helped you. So, yes, he helped me with the name. And, um, and you know, I'm, that makes me so happy that he was, like, a part of the decision with me. But it's a really special title. And I promise you that all of that will come out soon. The album title will be happening 
very soon and the release of the album and so it's all happening now okay it says are you gonna come to Australia you guys are the best um, are you gonna ever have a music video coming out yes um, we shot a really fun music video recently and that we're working on it now editing it and making it great for you guys so you'll get to see that soon as well um, this says will you be willing to send my fourth graders a short video to say hi well hello <laughs> fourth graders um, a lot of questions about if I'm gonna be doing a world tour and I promise you once the album comes out our next goal is to figure out international dates so I can come and see all of you uh, let's see, you guys, Argentina, hello. Oh, another book. Yeah, I had a lot of fun writing my books. I think right now I just wanna focus on doing a lot of the music stuff and um, getting to come and see you all and perform for you guys. Will I do a behind the scenes before your show Snapchat? Okay, so the one thing you guys have to know is when I perform, I get really nervous. <laughs> um, so if I don't post a lot, I promise, like once I start performing more and I get more comfortable, I will be Snapchatting more, but I know that a lot of you won't be able to be there if you're you know, far away. So we'll do our best to make you, you, know, you all a part of the experience together. What part of Glee do you miss the most? Aw, I miss Glee all the time, but if you guys do follow me on Snapchat, you see that I, I watch Glee all the time. <laughs> the other night, I just was like, I think I want to watch Glee, and I just like skimmed through some of like my favorite musical numbers, but I miss everyone, but I get to see everyone a lot all the time. It was actually really funny because um, Darren Chris, I get this video from him on New Year's Eve, and he's in like so far, I think he was in like the, Alps or so he was like super far away in like the middle of nowhere because you know Darren he's always like traveling and doing crazy stuff and he sends me this video from so far overseas that at midnight where he was they played my version of Old Lang Syne and he was like sending me this video and he was like I miss you and I just thought it was so crazy and so funny so sorry you guys didn't ask to hear that story but I told you anyway <laughs> um, let's see you guys are being so sweet and so supportive uh, would I sing Roots before Branches? <laughs> Probably not <laughs> in my upcoming um, concert. But, uh, but, but again, there will be some great Glee songs. And, um, you know, but if you guys also have any, like, songs that you want to hear, any requests, whether from Glee or anything else, um, you know, let me know. You can tweet me and let me know what songs you guys would want to hear. I could, this question says, would I do a duet with Jonathan? Okay, here's the thing. If at any of my shows, if Jonathan comes or if Darren comes, if anybody's there, they're getting pulled on the stage to come and sing with me, so don't worry. But Jonathan is, um, he's working on his television show right now. And so I don't know if he'll be able to come to the January shows, but hopefully um, once I do some other ones, he will definitely be there. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> you guys are being so very sweet and thank you so much. And I can't wait for you to hear this album. I feel like, ugh, I feel like I've just been like holding onto it for such a long time and it's been such a little like secret and surprise for, for, for me and I can't wait for y'all to hear it. This one says, I should sing Don't Rain On My Parade. I don't think I'm going to sing Don't Rain On My Parade at the concert, but you never know. If the mood strikes, I might just have to to sing it <laughs> because it is one of my favorites. Okay, so be honest, which is your favorite show, Glee or Scream Queens? Oh my God, I can't, I can't pick. <laughs> They're both my favorite. I mean, I love, Glee was like the best experience of my entire life. I love Scream Queens just because I love being with the girls. I love being with Billy and Emma and Gail. Um, They're like my best friends, so that's so great, but they're so different. You know, I can't, um, I, I honestly couldn't pick, but obviously Glee is like the greatest thing in the entire world. Uh, this person says, every time we go on the train, I listen to Roots Before Branches. <laughs> Do you recreate the Glee scene? <laughs> oh, Firework is a really good song. I know. I like picking songs from Glee and then doing like different versions of them for the concert. So I was thinking of doing something like, something like that, like a different version of something that I did on the show. Oh, everybody wants me to sing <laughs> Don't Rain On My Parade. Maybe I will. You guys will have to come and be there um, to either LA or New York or we're doing another show in LA. And I really hope that you guys can 
can come. Oh, I should sing Pretty and Pretty. That was such a good song, right? I loved that. Um, yeah, that was one of my favorites. But I think it's so fun to do songs that other people sang on Glee that I didn't get to do. That would be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited and also very scared. Okay, when will I release the album and can I tell you guys the name of it? So I promise you the album release will be very soon and you'll know the name. I think you're gonna know the name very soon. And um, I can't wait to tell you like the special meaning behind it. Um, okay, how much fun did I have on this season of Scream Queens? I had the best time. It was so much fun, especially getting to shoot the show in LA at Paramount, which is where I shot Glee. So that was really great. And it's also really fun to now be focusing on music stuff and get the chance to see all of you guys, and again, I, I really promise that if you can't make it to these shows here in LA or New York, that there will be upcoming shows for everyone, and the album will be out soon. And I just wanna thank you guys so much. I have to wrap this up because I'm going to this event and everyone is just standing here, staring at me, <laughs> ready to go. I wish Sheila was around for you guys to say hi to, but I guess she's shy. But I wanna thank you all so much for all of your support, I really mean it. I, I made this album for you and I'm doing all of these shows for all of you guys and I appreciate your patience. I know it's taken a really long time for me to you know, get this album out there but I wanted it to be so perfect for all of you and um, I just can't thank you enough for always standing by me and being the greatest. It means the world to me. So I'll see you all very soon. I can't wait to sing for you guys and it's really gonna be an amazing year. So. Sending you all lots of love wherever you are all over the world. And uh, all right, we're going to go. Hope you guys have the best day. Bye.